Hi, I'm Randy Nessie from the Arizona State University Center for Evolution and Medicine. Our guest today is Hannah Coco from the University of Zurich. Welcome, Hannah. Thank you. You're originally from Finland, is that right? That's right. And have been a few places in the meanwhile. Mm, yep. But That's you've yep. landed happily in Zurich. True. You study the same thing everywhere, though, and you've been especially interested in why there is sex among other, is that your main passion to understand that one or are there a few others? Uh, why their sex is one aspect of the story, but uh, once you have sex, there's also all kinds of things happening such as males, females, how do they interact? Uh, why are there some organisms where they look identical? Why are there some organisms where they look spectacularly different and so mm -hmm. on? So let's go back to, I mean, sex seems like a bad idea because mm -hmm. if mm -hmm. a population was only females, it could double twice as fast, right? Could you just say more, right, yeah. more about that? Yeah, so um, it's, it's a funny topic to study because everybody else seems to have such a wonderful idea why sex is there, but evolution biologists have no clue. Right. right. Uh, <laughs> they, it feels good, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, exactly, you all those kind babies, of things. Right? Um, but that's because evolution biologists realize that there's actually quite a lot of systems where they have got rid of sex as a way to make babies. Babies can be made just from the mother, create a daughter, no problems. And like, like aphids, for instance, they, yeah, they can bud. Exactly. Or Make or, identical copies of themselves. Yeah, or, or if you have a strawberry plant in your garden and you think about these sort of little plants that grow, that around, grow, right? grow out of that, then you know there was no sex to uh, involved to produce them. On the other hand, once you get the seeds of the plant, uh, then they usually are a result of pollen having fertilized. Ovum, so this yeah. has been a big mystery for evolutionary biologists mm -hmm. for about a century. Yes. Does everybody agree on the answer yet? No, uh, but um, it's certainly interesting to notice that when you look at big long-term evolutionary lineages, uh, the asexual forms, they tend to some at some point kind of run out of steam. Mm -hmm. They never get, almost never get really, really, really long-lived. So there must be something that genetically goes a bit funny if you just try to replicate yourself over so and over and over again. So because the genes are identical, 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 okay. parent to child, parent to child, does it mainly because it makes them vulnerable to infections? Um, parasites play a big role in there, but there could of course be also other alterations in the environment that you're just having a bit of a trouble adapting to because everybody's identical. You have less variation to work with. Less variation to work with, even though there seems to be exceptions to that as well. But also, whatever variation you get might be actually detrimental. And then you can't really get rid of these harmful mutations either, unless you sometimes get sort of literally fresh blood. So there's the harmful energy. mutations build up. I'm recalling the phrase Miller's ratchet. That's right. What, That's what, what is Miller's about. ratchet? So, so it's this idea that at some point when bad things can happen to any of the organisms that we're talking about, um, if you run uh, this film for long enough, then every individual will have had something bad happening to it genetically, and you have lost the wonderful, brilliant uh, genotype that you originally had. Um, so and problems this, just build up. Exactly, and by shuffling the genomes, uh, then you basically slow down this process immensely and you end up with a healthier population. Uh -huh. So let's go on in a minute to talk about organisms that sometimes have sex to reproduce mm -hmm. and sometimes don't. Yeah, yeah, they, they are fun. 